I, I can't lie. But like now, nah, I want to know now because obviously on your Instagram bio, yeah, it says that you're you're a four times property investor, yeah, right. So like, I want to know after the first purchase, like, how did you now go about going from the second, like, I mean, investing into the second, into the third, to the fourth, like, how did that all go right. about, bro? So 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 this is what it is, yeah. I completed on the first property which I actually live on, live in, yeah, yeah, in 2017 February. Yeah, that same year. I bought a flat in Egypt. I know it sounds crazy. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. <laughs> you bought a flat in Egypt? The reason why I bought this flat in Egypt, what? I was self-employed. So I was unemployed, but self-employed. I was doing a little bit of electrical work around here and there. Yeah. But um, I had my vending machine business going there. So I was surviving, but at yeah. the same time, I still had like 12 grand in my bank account. Okay. But I was starting to see that money diminish. Okay. And I said to myself, I've got a comfort, say safety net right now. Yeah. With this 12 grand, I'm not going to get a job. I need to get rid of this money so that I'm forced to go and get a job. I need yeah. to throw myself in the deep end because I'm not going to be motivated to get a job knowing I've got 12 grand in the yeah, bank. You, I need you, to be broke. You'll be steady for a bit. Yeah. One, one morning, I woke up at five in the morning. I was looking on Zoopla on my phone and it says overseas. So let me check that. And I was just looking at different countries yeah. and looking at America and that. Anyway, got to Egypt and they were selling studio flats in egypt in this new build resort right by the red sea yeah um in the place called hergada i still ain't even been out there i'll tell you about that Damn. um they were selling them for egypt. cheap so i bought one for about eight thousand six hundred off plan if it was after plan like when it was built it would have been about 10 grand something okay so basically i i spent all my money got rid of my money now i'm forced to get a job mm. so in 2017 february i bought my house that i live in then december 2017 I bought that studio flat but years and years went by i was just saving up and that and then eventually in 2021 february i completed on my first flat then what was that 22 i think that was 20 2022 oh, okay that's I remember yeah. It. Yeah. yeah either 21 or 22 um i think it was 21 completed on the first flat yeah then the, my second flat which is my fourth property in total i completed on that in december of 22 oh, okay. and yeah now we're at 2023 and i'm buying another flat right now i literally even oh, okay. my, my mortgage broker texted me this morning saying yeah the mortgage offer has been approved nice. i'm basically f buying a flat that's opposite my most recent purchase oh, okay. so my most recent purchase is in december of 22 okay the girl that lives opposite put a note through the door said tell your landlord that i'm selling my property if he's interested oh, okay so, yeah so you've got one house so i've got one house yeah i've got a studio flat in egypt yeah I've got a flat around the corner from my yard. Yep. And I've got a flat around the corner from that That's flat around cold. the corner. So I've got four at the moment. That's cool. By I don't know, in the next two months or whatever, I will have five properties. That's cool. Four bro. in the UK. Damn. I've still even been out to Egypt. But wait, so right, the one in Egypt, how do you get updates on that? Like, how do you come up? It's, it's, it's built, it's just a shell. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just a shell. So no one's is there no in, living in it yet? Uh, or? There's no kitchen, nothing like that. Okay. Yeah, what, I so, have to go and furnish it. Okay. So, like, well, even with that investment, like, what did you do your due diligence on it as uh, well like the, the only due diligence i've done on it and i wrote about that in my book um, yeah was uh what's the name of your book by the way it's called conquering adversity so oh, okay. basically overcoming hard times um yeah go check out that book there are plenty of hard times in that 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 book there mm. but um yeah all i did was the estate agent they're called Rivermead Global or something like that. I went onto their page and was looking at the testimonies from the people that bought the properties. And I e um, I sent them a message on Facebook, like 10 different people yeah. copied and pasted it. And about five or six of them got back to me and like, yeah, this is legit. That's so that's the only due diligence I'd, I'd done. That's smart. Oh. But yeah, I was paranoid. I remember going to NatWest in Enfield Town, yeah. transferring over this 8,600 yeah, to our money. next country. Because if it's in the UK, I can drive yeah, there and yeah, yeah, make yeah. up some noise. I, I ain't going. What am I going to Egypt for? To go mm, to where? It's if true. it's a fictitious place. <laughs> I'm not going to stand out in it with the pyramids and that. You know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> I, yes, I don't even know where I'm going. I ain't even been to the continent Damn. of Africa yet. Damn, nah, so, bro. I, I, I respect that though, bro. Seriously, man. Because, like, when you said Egypt, my eyes even popped up. I'm like, what the hell? Like, no one's... I've never heard that before. Like, that's very different, bro. Yeah. I can't even lie to you, man. I'll be real. Like, Jesus. 